Welcome back to Pacific Drive. Our mission this episode is to make our way through the mid-zone crossing into the middle zone for the first time. We have a new fax before that. Code 1040, code 1040, oh god, please. So we're trying to get here. Got a couple stops along the way. Let's head to G1 first and I'll bring you back if I find anything interesting. Nothing much of G1. Let's head over to G3, which should be very interesting because of the extreme conditions. So I don't think I'm going to cut this one out because this is probably going to be a fun time. What do we have? Eerie Darkness, Battery Sapping, and Swift Storm. Okay, Battery Sapping is new. Environmental distortions in this part of the zone mean that all car battery usage will be much higher. Okay. Let's see. 0 0.5, 0 0.4, 0 0.3, 0 0.2. Yeah, that might be like, I don't know, double what it was before. That is quite fast. Good thing I have bigger batteries now. Oh, it is so dark because we have the eerie darkness modifier as well. I cannot turn off my lights. Okay, what do we got to work with? Not going to bother looting. Let's just get that PowerPoint. That's right. We're going to get that PowerPoint. Smash my radio into an awesome song, I'll take it. Damn it. Good thing I have the insulated parts, should protect me a decent amount. Far from invulnerable, though. Oh, this is going to lift me up and over all this danger. Oh, yeah. Uh, hmm. Well, I was wondering what would happen if you end up on your back. I guess we're going to find out. Um, can I push you? Oh, Jesus. Activate emergency teleporter? Hold on, hold on, arc warp. Short range teleportation can move the vehicle if it sits inside a short distance. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's for this. Time does not pause while I'm reading that, so it is most uncomfortable. Wait, what? Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on. Here. Maybe this will work? I don't know if it matters, like, where I'm pointing or, or what. I, I'm not quite sure how this works. Like, does it spawn it where I am? Car too far from destination. What? Oh, now it's... Okay, yeah, yeah. Cool. That's how it works. Our car is quite, quite fucked. 
Oh, we're right next to a power source. Oh no, my battery's completely dead. Alright, hold on. I've got things for this. Let's hope nothing else is broken to the point where it won't move. Okay, yeah, now we move. My lights still work. At least one of them. Alright, get me the hell out of here. Oh, come on. Fuck off. The song's horrible. That's better. Nice and easy. Oh. That wasn't too easy. I'd like to not get shocked. How far do I have to be for me to not get shocked? That far. I think if I don't park the car... Oops. I think if I don't park the car super close to the energy source, it'll probably be safe. We have the new awesome flashlight. Ooh, but I'm not safe. I need to heal. If I get zapped while I'm over there, I'm... I'm gonna probably die. No, I have them back here. Yeah, I won't make it. Let's go. The storm is coming. I do need to be a little bit fast. Wait, isn't this a stable anchor? Is this not unstable energy? Yeah, but it's an unstable zone, isn't it? I thought all energy inside of an unstable zone would be unstable. I don't know. Let's go. We gotta go. I can squeeze in here. Maybe not. We have a bit of time. Let's take stock of how fucked we are. Yeah, a lot of things need repair, putty. Uh, that needs sealant. This needs sealant. We need at least two sealants and a bunch of repair, putty. Okay. 
Can I make a ceiling kit? Yeah. Just one. All right. How are the tires? Tires are good. It's just windows. Let's repair things that are red. Engine's good. I think that's all that's red. This insulated door is pretty low. Let's give that a repair. Same with this one. Headlight's not looking too good. Okay. I think that's good enough. I think our car is no longer compromised, so it should protect us from radiation. Yeah, not looking too bad now. Alright. Let's head to the expansion wall. Curious what this is going to look like. Is it going to allow us to travel through the wall? Right now? Or are we going to have to come back here? Beautiful daylight. Perpetual stability. It should be nice and calm. Oh, what are these? These are objective areas. Yeah, that's the wall right there, isn't it? That must be the break. It went from such a beautiful day to raining in just seconds. The wind is blowing us away, somebody. Stop I'm gonna loot these places. Continuing on, looks like we have a gas station up ahead. I don't yeah, I don't really need it, but might as well. Oh, we have a flat, I just realized. That's why we keep going to the right. What a better place to fix a flat than a gas station. Brown paint just made a new logbook entry. Have I really not found brown before? Oh, here's the new plasma scrapper in action, by the way. Holy crap. I feel like it maybe is giving me more resources. I'm not totally sure. But it feels like it, and it's certainly faster. No, don't do that. I need more rubber. I don't suppose you have any wheels? No, you don't have anything. Oh, you might. Spare tire. I might have some rubber. There we go. Mm-hmm. These always have good stuff. Oh, yes. Oh, so much paint. Sticker. Some putty, even? I don't really need these parts. 
I do need the food, actually. I think I need to eat all of it. expansion wall. It separates the outer zone from the mid zone and, more importantly, us from those two idiots. This will get you one step closer to the deep zone. It's far past its prime, so watch your step. God, it's massive. Before I approach it, let's go grab that power down the street. Because otherwise they all seem to be out there towards the wall. Hold on a second. What was that? I think it's related... To a little ball of distortion, I just, yeah, I just saw it in the air. It pops up every once in a while. I heard it, and it showed up there on that thing next to the little, uh, that little bobblehead car, just to the right of it. That turned, like, yellow. I hear it again. Yeah, now it's yellow. Stuff's flashing. Is that just what the radiation sounds like? Is that just a radiation meter? Yeah, that's definitely radiation. Is that it? Or is there something more? I think that's it. I was wondering if it could be a secret of some sort. Like if you go touch it or something, something happens. see like black dust here oh yeah hot dust yeah it's just an anomaly that's not to say we can't interact with it in some way we might be able to but it also really hurts so no i'm good hmm I wonder if there's anything up here around this structure. What is that? There is something up here. I'm sorry, why can't I go this way? Is there an invisible wall? If there's an invisible wall, like directly on my left, as if that whole place between the struts is filled in. Is it here as well? No. Yeah, there's an invisible wall right here. I can't go past it. That's really odd. Our investigator trucks have amazing loot. I want to make them explode because I want those heat crystals. Do I have anything I could throw at them? Can I throw a gear? Circuit board then? Alright. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave that gear.
Actually, you know what? Maybe I can make the... What was it called? The thing that shoots. The... Liberator. Yeah, I can't make it. I need another pressurized cartridge and... Oh, it takes five thermosap crystals. That might cost more than I would gain, because you don't get that many shots out of it. There's another Arda truck around here. It's creepy the way it knows where you are. It tries to shock you in particular. I see a continue icon here, so I think we are continuing on. Okay. Let's head back to the crack in the wall. Go explore. what those orbs are. Glad the water isn't too deep. I didn't really even think about that. Is this something I can scan? No. Hmm. I want to do a tiny bit more repairing. There's some things that are really low on health. And I saw at least one red thing that I think I missed. Where were you? There you are. No, not that. That. Okay. I think we have a bro yeah, a broken window back there, but that's fine. I don't really need to mark it to see it. I don't know why I did that. Are we going to drive up into that, like... Is that a pipe?
let's go. Yeah, I thought there was supposed to be a crack in the wall. I mean, this looks quite deliberate. It doesn't seem like a crack. Wait, what is this? We're just in the interior. Is this the interior of the wall? The wall has an interior? I need to look up. Oh man, I wish I had a flare gun right now. Because there's so much above us. What about that... That building up there? Can I get there? Oh man, you can hear the echoiness in here. This is eerie. Oh, it does show a building on the map. How would I get there, though? The scale of this just makes me feel very small. Yeah, I don't know how you'd get up there. It really seems like it'd have to be back here where I was before, but it wouldn't let me up. Or, wait, does it? Hold on. Oh, yeah. I think this is actually going to work. Maybe? Am I even meant to be here? Uh... Okay, it didn't really feel like I was meant to get up that way, but it did work. Gears into gas cylinders. Low torch, why not? Nah, I, I don't have any reason to break that. I thought there'd be something super special in here. So far, it's just quite a normal building. Well. Feels like it's inviting me in here. I'm scared I'm gonna get stuck. Oh, this is like a maze. This must be leading to something. Like, how deep is that? I don't know. Can I walk across it? Probably, but what if I can and I just sink like a stone and then I'm dead? Just a normal pothole anomaly. Dead end, huh? Secrets? That's just a normal crate. I feel like there must be something special back here, right? Oh shit, I just walked in the water. It's fine. Maybe there's really nothing. I can hear the birds, and it is open. 
The roof is open to the elements. Ah, see, that just looks like a normal loot place. I'm pretty disappointed because it feels like such a special place to explore, but the things I'm finding are not special. It's just a normal crate. It's an interesting location with uninteresting things. I don't think there's any point in continuing. Like, there might be, but I think it would be searching for a needle in a haystack. Oh shit, I left the lights on, didn't I? We're pretty low on power. I don't know if I can craft some more charging. Who knows, maybe the next area I'll get struck by lightning. I have the modification that'll make it charge up my battery if that happens, by the way. Ah, so this just leads up here. So I guess you're really meant to drive up here more than anything. Ooh, that's a lot. I want to blow them up. Okay, there's so many here. Think of all the thermosap crystals. Okay, let me oh, let me turn off the light. Well I'm at it, let me see if I can craft any battery things. Mm. Oh yeah, battery jumper. Oh, I can craft a whole bunch, cool. craft anything that can shoot. No. How far away will the blowtorch work? Probably not very. No, not not enough. I suppose I could just throw the freaking thing. That didn't do anything. What the hell? Screw it. lining up. Just follow the lights, I suppose. That's so weird how there's almost an entire world inside of the walls.
I mean, there's tracks. Like, they had a whole transportation system within the walls. And we're through. Just down, take a right. Short drive, and then we're on to the next zone. Oh, hold on. I see a fridge. Let's raid the fridge. Could use some health. Hi there. Bye. to the next zone. I wonder how long my travels are going to end up being. Because there's not going to be a highway that goes through the wall. Am I going to have to go through the wall crossing every time? Or is there going to be some other way? Are we going to find a new safe house or something? side of the wall. Oh, what's this? Your connection to Wampy is jammed? Uh, worry not. Our signal is crystal clear. A little bit obvious, don't you think? Right, ask me if I care. Yeah, the mid-zone's been marinating in all this radiation for so long. Things don't work the same as they do in the outer zone. But the good news is, we live here. We can help you, no sweat. <clears throat> first things first, we've got to extend the signal from the garage, otherwise Avi's equipment won't be much help. Hooking you into a mid-zone stabilizer should do the trick. Look around, you should be able to see one up a hill somewhere. Yep, that would be that right there, and I would like to know what the fuck these are. These must be the swamp eggs. Marsh eggs, right, yeah. Salamander Grotto, recommended hand vac. Oh, hand vac is probably gonna give me a lot more eggs? Or maybe it would just be faster. Uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty freaking slow. <laughs> Can I make one? No, I cannot. It takes a higher crafting tier bench, portable bench. What about these, though? No. Giant orb. Partial memo source unknown or from around 71. I'd estimate it's been some 10 to 12 months now. Maybe more. I'd hope the passage of seasons would serve as at least some broad frame of reference, but that doesn't seem to happen here anymore. The climate is largely constant, while the weather is subject to these sudden swings that are impossible to predict. Storms appear out of nowhere. Rain is sometimes spontaneous. The skies clear quite suddenly, though never enough that I can get a good look at the stars. However, my compass still seems to be working, at least most, most of the time. The moon, however? That's something else. I can usually still make it out, but something is different. Something is changing. I can't tell if it's some local atmospheric change here, or... Uh, but to suggest anything beyond that is ridiculous. Why would the moon have changed? And on the subject of strange orbs, those static glowing spheres have been changing color again. They're now a curious shade of orange, or burnt sienna. This seems to be their most static color yet, and I wonder if this signals some state of maturity. We'll see. They seem to be somehow guarding those strange nests of 
giant frog spawn. No, I shouldn't say guarding because that implies intelligence. But they're often nearby. I found a new cache of food last night and I have nothing but time, so I shall contemplate these orbs. Okay, so where you find orbs, you will find salamander grottos. Are they radioactive? No. Can I scrap them? No. Can I impact them? Hmm. I appear to be unable to exert any influence over them at all. I think in the mid-zone, we're going to be finding a lot of new things. Should I take the long way, or should I... Let's go up the road. Gives us more of a chance to see more of the new things, right? Oh, wait. Right, the, um... The way is blocked. Let's see if we can find a quick way around, or if we do have to just completely skip the road. Yeah, easy enough. Oh, look at that tree. I guess that's just what the trees here look like, huh? Very swampy. Oh, hey! What is that? It looks kind of like the frog spawn. Sorta. Bubblegum buddy. <laughs> Telephone transcript. Central Exchange, 1964. Hi there, Dr. Cook. This is Tobias Barlow from Maintenance. I think I know why your field equipment is missing, and uh, you're not going to like this. So, me and a bunch of the folks doing requisition and inventory have been losing gear too, but also finding it again, later, in different areas of the zone. We thought we lost some to high winds, then some to, you know, scrambling. But the weather's been pretty normal, and we realized the zone hasn't had a tantrum in a while. So we did a kind of stakeout. We left some old gear at a test site, and you won't believe it. These things are like gooey fireflies, or will-o'-the-wisps, or something. They come out the trees and kind of band together. They grab stuff like magpies, and then pass it around like uh, a football team. Anyway, I know you scientists want to know about this stuff, so I figured I'd take notes. There's uh, quite a lot. I did some sketches, took some numbers, and I repeated things, like in an experiment. I figured you might want to see, so mind if I drop this stuff by? Those Numa tubes are malfunctioning again. It makes noise. So I wonder, if I drop something, will it pick it up? Let me go find something to drop. Oh, and I just realized... This whole area is suffused in radiation. What shall I drop? I don't know. Marsh egg? Maybe it only goes after equipment. I guess it's just not in the mood.
Something is standing out to me. Something white. Is that just a plant? It's just like a cotton plant or something. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, are you gonna rip off my hood or something? Oh my god, they're cute. Alright, let's see what they do. Are they doing any damage? God, they're adorable. I don't think they did any damn. Hey, are you tr are you trying to suck me? Get off of me! What is that? Shaggy Scrambler. Central Exchange, 1967. We nearly got him, Sally. We were within an inch of catching that notorious, that Scott guy. We almost did it. I store. Oh, oh. What the hell? Did you just blow up my car? That did some damage. Mess with the electronics. Didn't do that much damage, though. Okay. What was that? Something scrambler? Shaggy Scrambler. That Scott guy, we almost did it, I swear to you. We're gonna triumph where the regulars just can't. After 11 months hiding out in the zone, stealing cars, breaking into shelters, taking food... You know how we were gonna do it? Anomalies. We used roadblocks to funnel him deeper to where we knew those... those beastly malfunction things were. And you know what they did? A whole pack of them descended on his car. Right in front of us. His engine dies, his battery burns out, his steering locks. He ends up stuck there in the middle of the road with nothing but his regrets. And then somehow he still gets away somehow, just melting into the darkness. I guess it didn't help that all our cars had started malfunctioning too. But that's not what matters. Mark my words, we'll catch him next time. <laughs> okay, so it just messes with your car generally. Yep. Stabilizing angers the storm. I 
I could drive... Uh, you know what? Let's drive straight th for it. Why not? There's a bunch of power on the way. Maybe I can get that as well. Because if I follow the road, it's quite circuitous. I got off-road tires, right? Come on, what are they for? Driving through swamps. Oh shit, I just realized I'm like incredibly low on fuel. I should have done that before I started and angered the storm. Like I'm gonna run out before I get to the exit low. Half a tank should be perfectly fine. Oh, that's unstable energy. I want that bad. Do I have time to get the other one? Yeah, I do. Just try and stick my car. Get off. Corrupted anchor. Okay, we need to go. That red is awfully close. Five stable, one unstable, point four corrupted energy. Nice. Wow. Oppie was hiding a magic teleporter? We could have been beaming all over the zone this whole time? And hey, don't worry, I'll restore her connection once you do us a little favor. We <laughs> suspect Oppie's hiding a copy of Otis' database in that auto shop of hers. Find it, and we can get back to this remnant business. Cover Arda data. Oh, we have a new fax. All right, I've I've identified the electrical circuit for the garage's security system. And there's an auto security lock in that circuit. So once I do this, yeah, bingo! That security lock's powered on now. We try that overload code from the observation towers. Four seven three five. That was Morse code. I don't care to manually um, translate that. Driver, something you should know about that database? When Arda's funding began to dry up, they handed us our final paycheck with one hand and the same day evacuation orders with the other. Oppie was a higher up, though more entitled than an actual power by that time. She would have known about Arda's plan to close up shop and had enough time to download all the research data before losing access. That data could contain what we need to help you. I guess someone washing their hands and drying it is so rare that it's the secret password to open up the, the office. I'm glad everyone has the same dog calendar. We had this in our car in the beginning. I guess we probably still have it in there? I haven't looked.
Spark Dock. And operating no normal auto show. Oh, <laughs> you did it! Hey, you actually did it! <laughs> oh, boy, Audi, I cannot wait to dig through all this data. As promised, I'll fix Oppie's connection. Do you read me? Come in. Do you read me? Loud and clear, you old bat. I see. The comms clear up suddenly, and I find you two patched to the garage frequency. <laughs> it all makes sense now. No idea what you're talking about. So, Oppie, what's the, uh, what's the plan? You must have some grand scheme, don't you? Let me get this straight. You hijacked my mission, tapped into my frequency, and now you want to be all buddy-buddy. Not on your life. You think you're hot stuff. Why don't you take the lead, then? Get the driver through all by your damn selves. Did she just hang up on us? Well, guess it's our time to shine. <laughs> So, uh, Francis, you got any ideas? Well, we know the driver needs to get to the deep zone, but it's too dangerous to head there directly. We have to zero in on exactly where to go. The signal amplification trick won't work here. The ambient instability is too strong in the mid zone. Huh, how indeed. Um, there was one other time where the mass hallucination and the remnants intersected. Driver, I've tagged a route for you. Whenever you're ready, give it a spin. I installed side floodlights on both sides. I don't know how often I'm going to want that, but there have definitely been times when I did want to see to the side. And I've realized that floodlights are really bright. I don't know what that's going to look like outside. Hopefully better than this, because this is too bright. <laughs> Blast your eyeballs off. What does that look from the outside? Jesus. At least it doesn't hurt to look at the lights. Just... <laughs> that hurts to look at. But yeah, if I pull up, like, right beside a location, it might be nice to turn those on, and then I don't even need to use my flashlight. But... It also has really high power draw. Look at how fast my battery is going down. Well, I'm going to end the episode there, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to head here because we might be able to find information that can help us get to the deep zone. <laughs>